Hey everybody, it's Craig. A few months ago I created a video on creating a CloudFront CDN for your WordPress blog using uh, poll technology. And since that time I've gotten a few questions from folks wondering how can you set it up using push versus poll. And I wasn't really able to answer that because I've never done it before. So I thought now would be as good of a time as any to play around with this and, and see what we can come up with. So this is, a, this is going to be a bit of a trial and error since I've never done it before. And we'll see what we can come up with here. Um, so first things first, I went through a couple of things to uh, streamline the setup process. I've already set up my uh, user group and user within Identity and Access Management. And I've also set up an S3 bucket. If we go into that here, you can see I've got a bucket set up with my domain name. It's this youth hockey stuff one here. And I've also set up my CloudFront distribution using the same settings that I did in the previous video. So if you have any questions on setting up a user group, a user, an S3 bucket, or a CloudFront distribution, go check out my other video as I walk through step by step how you can go about doing that. So if you look at, and I guess one other thing I'll add is there is no difference in setting up the user group user S3 bucket or CloudFront distribution for push versus pull. I set things up identically. So here you can see my new origin that I set up for youth hockey. Uh, it's in a deployed status with an enabled state. So we're good to go on everything within the AWS Management Council. Let's go into W3 Total Cache within our blog and see what we can come up with. Now that we have everything set up within the AWS Management Council to set up a push distribution, let's go in the W3 Total Cache within our WordPress blog and play around with the settings here. So first things first, um, I'm on the General Settings tab of the W3 Total Cache plugin. You wanna scroll down to our CDN. You wanna tick the Enable and from the drop down, we want to select Origin Push Amazon CloudFront. So let's uh, save that. And we get a, we get a uh, configuration issue with our access key and secret key, which is to be expected. And we'll fix that here when we go into the CDN settings. Uh, let's scroll down here. Okay, so this is a little bit different than what we've seen before when we set up a poll distribution. Um, here you actually have to upload your host attachments or WP include files or your hosting files, whatever you're planning on hosting within the CDN, you want to tick these boxes here. And I'm going to go with everything ticked here. And what will happen if we go into our, let's see here, our S3 bucket for my blog, you'll see that it's empty here. So let's go back to our WordPress blog. I'm not going to upload anything just yet. Let's go scroll down a little bit to the configuration. We need our access key and our secret key. So as I mentioned before, I had downloaded these previously. Uh, let's do this. Access key goes here. Um, secret key goes here. Uh, 
create bucket and distribution. This is going to be youth hockey stuff. That's my bucket I created. And replace site host name. If I go, we got to go back to cloud front to our distribution that we set up. And you want that first level qualifier there. Copy that. So that will equal this gobbledygook here dot cloudfront dot net matches this. Okay, good to go. Let's do a save. All right, that got rid of our error here. Make sure explorer. Yep, we're gonna do that here in a minute. Let's. Do one other thing here. Let's test the S3 upload and distribution. Yes, test passed. All right. Now I think what we can do is we can go and let's try to upload our attachments. So the difference between a pull versus push is with pull, which I had set up previously, the CloudFront distribution would go back to your web server and pull the files that were required. With a push distribution, you actually have to push those files out. So anytime you make a change or you add a new file, you put a new image out here, you have to push that file out to the distribution. So to me, setting up a pull distribution is a whole lot easier. It's just, it, there's a lot of extra steps that you have to go through with, with the push distribution, which quite frankly, I don't want to deal with. So let's upload our attachments here. So this is telling me I've got 45 in my media library. Let's start it. Looks like it might be working here. Cool. 104% interesting. Uh, status done. Okay, close this, I believe. Now let's go back to, we should see this in our S3 bucket if we're lucky. Go back to our bucket. Aha, uh -huh. WP content, uploads by year. Interesting. And there's all of our images. Nice. All right, let's upload our host WP includes files. 378. And we will fast forward this once we see it starting to kick in. All right, we're back almost six minutes later. 370 files uploaded, cool. Let's do our hosting files. Start that, it should be a bit quicker. Done. And that's all we're gonna do. So, we got everything set up here. Let's save our settings, purge caches. Let's go back to, oh, all buckets, youth hockey stuff. And there is our WP includes, CSS, sweet, JavaScript, sweet, all right. Looks like things are here. All right, let's test it out here. I think what we'll do is let's go into a new incognito window here just for kicks. Here's my site right here. All right, and it appears to, oh, nope, a couple issues here with images. So let's go into 
this post formatting looks good pictures missing a picture missing a picture missing a picture all right if we go to the top picture here and I click on it what I should see is it loading from the CDN which it is nice so that appears to be working okay but the problem that I just saw here and on the front page is the JPEG that's identified down at the bottom is not out there. So this is the whole problem with pushing versus pulling. You have to ensure that every image, every CSS file has been loaded to your S3 bucket in order for it to load for the, the web page to load properly. So as you can see, it's kind of a painstaking process where you have to go through everything to ensure every image, every file has been loaded appropriately. And I'm not going to spend the time debugging this here, but I would have to go back to my WordPress blog and probably look at unsuccessful file transfers or ensure that every, or back to my S3 bucket and look to see that all of the images that I've loaded, that I think I've loaded, are actually out there. That's why I don't do this. So anyway, hopefully you found this somewhat helpful and uh, now you know why I decided to do a pull versus a push.